So we know that the ordered pairs exist. We have x-axis, y-axis and these two points 3, 1 and 1, 3. Both of them are different and you can look at one ordered pair and say that the first element is the x-coordinate and the second element is the y-coordinate. Alright. But the question is, do ordered triplets exist? Have you seen any ordered triplets so far? If you haven't already, you'll soon be introduced to ordered triplets in a chapter called three-dimensional geometry, where you'll not just have x and y axis, you'll have three axes, x, y and z axis, a third axis perpendicular to the plane where x and y axis are. And if you have a point in a 3D space, as an example, we have this one, 3, 1 and 2. What it means is, we move 3 units in the x direction, 1 unit in the y direction and 2 units in the z direction. So yes, ordered triplets do exist and they're very useful in the 3D world. And you might have already guessed it, yes, they're also Cartesian products, but in this case, they're Cartesian products of not 2, but 3 sets. Here's an example. The first set is P, 1, 2, the second one is Q, A, B and C and the third one is R. Let's have the elements beta and theta in R. If you find the Cartesian product of P, Q and R, this is how we write it. That's P times Q times R and you get the elements of this Cartesian product by taking elements from P, Q and R in order. You take the first one from P, the second one from Q and the third one from R. Let's try writing down a few elements. We have the first one as 1, then we have a and then we have beta. That's 1, 1 a and beta. But you can do this for theta as well. You have 1 a and theta. And if you can do this for a, you can do this for b as well. You have 1 b beta and 1 b theta. If you can do this for a and b, you can do this for c as well. 1 c beta and 1 c theta. And if you can do all of this for 1, you can do all of this for 2 as well. So you can have 2 a beta, 2 a theta. 2b beta, 2b theta, 2c beta and 2c theta and that's the entire list and if you put all of them in a set, don't forget the commas, what you get is the Cartesian product of p, q and r. Alright, let's practice. What if we have this one set p which has these two elements 1 and 2 and we are asked to find p times p times p. We want to find the Cartesian product of p on itself three times. So that's PQ. Pause the video, try this out. Okay, let's do this together. And just to help visualizing, let's change the colors a bit. Let's say the first P has blue color, the second P has green and the third one has yellow. Okay, so the first element will be 1, 1, 1. We can pick the next one like this. We can have 1, 1 and 2. Okay, so 1, 2 and 1 and then 1, 2 and 2. Now we can do the same thing for 2. So 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1 and then 2, 2, 2. And that's going to be the entire list. So put all of this inside a set. Don't forget the commas. And that's your product P times P times P. One final note. We know that the R is the set of all real numbers. We've seen that in the chapter sets. But what does R times R or R square mean? And what does r times r times r mean? If you can visualize a set of all real numbers, can you visualize these two Cartesian products as well? Well, here's one way to visualize these. You can put the set of all real numbers on the number line. This is called the real number line. And you can call it the x-axis. All the points on the number line are part of the set r. Now take another line perpendicular to r. You can call this the y-axis. And now try multiplying this times this. Take the Cartesian product of these two. This is a set of all real numbers. This is also a set of all real numbers. And if you try multiplying, you will get all possible combinations. In fact, you will get all possible points on this plane, on this screen that you're seeing. So what will R times R give? It will give us all possible points on this plane. In fact, it gives us the entire plane. And if we take this one step further, if we add a z-axis, what does this give? Well, this gives us all the points in the three-dimensional space. So, let's write this down. R times R, this is the Cartesian product where we have the elements x, y, where x and y are both real. And this is the entire two-dimensional space. R times R times R, it's the set of x, y and z, where x, y and z belong to R. 
and this covers the entire three dimensional space. So whenever you see things like these in advanced math, r times r or r square and r times r times r or r cube, remember this nugget of wisdom from this chapter. Remember that we are talking about the Cartesian products.